This has been a phenomenal conference. Lalo and I are very humbled to first off be here, so thank you for that. But secondly, uh, this has been phenomenal. The excitement has been going on with a lot of folks that we've been interviewing. But from your perspective, how do, are you happy with uh, the attendance and the, and the speakers and all? Well, what I can tell you is that I actually have no original happiness. I only have derivative happiness. <laughs> and, and what that means is that if others are happy, I'm happy. There you go. So, so to, to hear that, that you're talking to people who are happy, and when I talk to people, I ask them, how's it going? And if they tell me they're happy, then I'm happy. Yeah. You see? So therefore, uh, you know, I'm ho for the most part hearing, you know, some positive things. I mean, it's a it's a great group to get together. There's a lot of business that they can do that everybody, including ourselves, can do here. So so it's and it's the right time of year for this group to get together. So the idea that there is genuine value creation, because the last thing I ever want to do and it, it's, it's, it'll, it could be written on my gravestone one day is that he, he didn't want to waste anybody's time. I don't want to waste anybody's time. So people are investing a lot of time, a lot of money, resources to be here. And so therefore it needs to be a, a good return on investment. Well, we have talked to a lot of service providers that are exhibiting here, and they all seem to be very pumped with the, the traffic, the folks that are coming in. We've talked to um, several uh, you know, in, uh, importers and exporters and shippers and, and whatnot, and uh, they seem to be very pleased with the content that's going on. Secretary Gates this morning was phenomenal, some really key things and all that. So folks, on that, there's going to be some follow-up with that. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be writing uh, some articles about it but with that uh, again I guess the key takeaway that you've seen out of this year uh, for not only this conference but what should somebody be looking for as far as you know contingency planning because of all the stuff going around the world or, or what well you know I think that the answer to that question and I tried to convey this in my opening remarks this morning mm -hmm. is that the world's changed yes the it, it used to be that when disruptions would occur to the containerized supply chain they would be little minor bumps compared to what we're seeing today. They seem bigger at the time. Mm -hmm. They seemed semi-catastrophic when certain things would happen. Uh, but the reality is, is that in comparison to Red Sea attacks, in comparison to COVID, in comparison to what we're seeing at the Panama Canal, these are this is disruption to the global supply chain that is on a scale that, that had not been witnessed before. So the idea that you're now experiencing that and therefore need to bring a different kind of thinking to this whole environment is is really important and and i think that's reflected in a lot of the discussions that are going on uh you know you have uh shipper importer exporter companies who you know they have to look at resilience in their supply chain in a real way resilience used to be a you know like like shelfware like Resilience was a was a word that people you know maybe gave lip service yeah. to. Now it's for real. Well, and in the ability to recover when it's completely decimated as far as your supply chain and come back, like you said, that resilience is so paramount, and it is adding an element to you know people's lives, I guess, in companies. They've not had to go this deep, so you know with that. In justifying attending here, what could you say to the executives of companies that are saying their employees should be coming and who should be coming? Is like, why come to TPM? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's 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 very simple. You know, when given that the uh, the 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 state of the certainly the ocean containerized supply chain is very very fragile, and and it and conditions in the market change on a dime. You could have a port that has gone from no congestion to being seriously backed up in, in, in one month or, or three weeks, something like that. And so staying very, very close to the market, and that means close to information, like the information we provide uh, at S&P Global, but also being staying in touch with your network, having, having a really uh, lo you know, very current, very fresh network of sources of people who are in key who are in a position to know when when things are changing in the market, that's what this conference does. It puts companies in close proximity to what's really happening, That which is where you have to be. And that was exactly what I said this morning. I said, you know, 
you 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 you've got to be very very close to the market now in order to not be left behind or left out when you need to pivot. Folks, I'm going to tell you, the S&P Global has some information I've had the chance to take a look at that will really help you in, in, in handling those disruptions and keeps you current and all that. But strategic thinking, TPM 24 will be for TPM 25 for next year. If you're not here, I'm telling you, this is a great uh, conference to come to so that you can get your strategic planning in place. It gives you some key things to think about and plan for. So Peter, thank you so much for My allowing Lalo, Lalo and I to, to attend and, and all that. Yeah, so. yeah. Happy to have you here and, and delighted that we could uh, that we could have a chance to talk today. Folks, have a good day. Mm-hmm.